I'm Christine Mwangi, I'm the doctoral fellow at the Strathmore Institute for Public Policy and Governance and I'm also the deputy director of the Af Africa Media Hub here at Strathmore Business School. Okay, well, uh, a couple of times we've tried to implement this law and uh, to make it work, to ban the plastic bag usage, but I think right now it's an idea whose time has come. The CES is pretty adamant about it and she's pretty deliberate about uh, enforcing this ban and also globally um, in light of climate change and um, the effects of this ban bags are having on our oceans and our livestock. In Kenya we produce about 24 million bags a year and we use about 24 million bags a year and in our abattoirs where we have our livestock uh, they're pulling out 20 bags per, per cow every other time they're slaughtering these cows and goats because that's what they're eating when they go for gra grazing around the city and so it's posing a health risk for our society not to mention that it clogs our drains, it reaches our rivers and then eventually ends up in our oceans and some estimates are that by 2050 we'll have more plastic bags and plastic in the oceans than fish so this is a serious health issue and um, that is why um, Many countries, about 40 countries around the world, you know, some countries like Eritrea, uh, Rwanda, France, and China have some partial bans. Uh, they're banning these this plastic bags because the effects on our environments are very serious and now it's a global concerted effort. It's not just, just the situation for Kenya alone and therefore it is an idea whose time has come and um, uh, it is a good idea. It is, a, it, it is really good for us to be enforcing this ban for the sake of our, our, our health and for the sake of our oceans. I mentioned climate change earlier in the context of uh, global problems that we're all facing um, now and sustainable development is, is in, uh, linked to that as well and uh, waste management and reduction of pollution which is which plastic bags that provide a huge contribution to um, is one of the ways that we want to create sustainable living by addressing pollution and um, yes uh, one can argue that we are addressing uh, the, the symptom and not the cause but first we have to reduce the use of plastic bags there's an approach in our national waste management strategy where which is reduce reuse recycle and so the first step in that now nationally we have to reduce the use of these plastic bags they end up in our drains and you can see the extreme weather events that we're facing in many countries Sierra Leone was an example unfortunately and now Texas if our drains are clogged many people are going to die this is a really serious um, uh, risk to our societies and so first we need to reduce then we need to reuse our bags so right now when our bags are confiscated we have to go with our kiondos to the supermarket and to the market and we'll reuse those bags so we're already reducing our effect on pollution eventually we have to create systems which is true that we have to create solid systems for waste management we have to increase our technological you know capacity to deal with waste uh, increase the number of sites where we dump our waste you know and have systems where we can recycle um, the, the, the materials that can actually be recycled and be reused so it's a whole um, system and chain of an implementation strategy that I think um, is already in place in, in our government and our county governments the ministry uh, should actually engage in a very robust public information campaign that will let Kenyans know that it is important to, for us to clean up our environment and I think Kenyans will respond to that. We have the policies in paper, we have them, uh, the county governments know, uh, surveys have been done, reports have been written, all these documents are available on the waste management strategies that we should have in some of the major cities across the country. But what is also an impediment to that implementation is public awareness and public uh, you know, involvement and engagement. Rwanda provides a really good example and a leader, you know, blazing the trail, demonstrating to us that it is possible and that they can continue to, to live their lives and go to the supermarket and go to the market and continue doing business even without plastic bags. It is a really a great example and they even got um, an award for bringing the clean, Kigali was the cleanest city in Africa in, by a recognized UN World Habitat. Yeah? So, and this is a result as a result of these initiatives by the country and another thing is that they have their own cleanup day. You know, the citizens are engaged. They recognize the importance of a clean country, of a clean city. So that also has contributed to their successes. And I think this is something that we as Kenyans need to also embrace so that we can wholeheartedly embrace the idea of living in a clean and healthy environment.